Uh, continuing coverage here at the Formbury Surfacing Stadium with two of Chippenham's uh, gallant warriors today, Kieran. Obviously, it's a bit of a different one for yourself. Too. You've obviously had a couple of weeks where you've been you know, moaning a little bit about the fact that we've not been putting the ball in the net at the other end. But today, you boys have done your job defensively and four goals, three of them coming in the first half. Talk us through that one, mate. I think we were just clinical. I think we've, the last two or three games, we've, we've created chances and... Um, yeah, it, you get games like that where you can't put the ball in the net and obviously today we're fortunate to, to be nice and clinical and the, the nice thing is as well for the back four and obviously the rest of the team it was, it was comfortable towards the end. Okay, we, we weren't like clinging on, it's what we've done previously and it's, it's one that we, I think we've deserved. I think it's been coming for the last week or two and um, it's great to do it over a team that's probably going to be up there at the end of the season. Yeah, definitely. And uh, obviously, Russi, you know, the engine in the midfield today, you know, giving it a lot of the hard work, a lot of the work that sort of sometimes goes unnoticed. But, you know, it wasn't unnoticed today. I think it was yourself, obviously, that was quite instrumental in both the first and second goal with the retention from the first and obviously the slot for the second. You know, it's gone into Harry Parsons with the three goals and Ricky obviously claiming the fourth there at the end. But it must be great to be part of, you know, the attacking side of things when moving forward and putting four goals past the side like Dorking. Yeah, especially after last week's result, I think we had something like 27 shots and six on target, which isn't good enough we created the chances but we just didn't, couldn't quite put it in the back of the net and it, I'm, I'm pleased for H he, he, the striker's got a little bit of stick in the week and um, he's come back he's, he's, he's done his job he scored three goals Ricky, Ricky got the fourth and it was all about hard work but at the end of the day as a striker you, you want to see him scoring yeah, and Kieran, obviously switch back to yourself. Obviously, we've just had the news break from Mike that you know one of your, one of your defensive stalwarts over the last couple of weeks is now obviously returning to the parent club as captain. Obviously, you must get to know these lads when they come in quite well and embed themselves quite well within the team. Obviously, have you got any sort of you know messages and well wishes that you'd like to pass on to Callum because you know I think he's had an excellent shift here at Chippenham on loan. Yeah, he's a great lad. He's he's been coming up yeah. with, with us two in the car for um for training and games. But yeah, brilliant lad. Um, got a great career ahead of him. Um, but yeah, he's been he's been excellent, and the most important thing is he's, he's worked his socks off, and he's he's um, bought into what Cookie and everyone else has wanted to do. And obviously, he's been brilliant on us lads, and obviously, he's put loads of um, great performances in, since he's been here. Absolutely. Well, obviously, Luke, we sat here the uh, you know last week or the week before last, the last time we caught up and highlighted the difficulties that sort of lay ahead of us in December. It's an absolutely backlogged sort of fixture list. And now, obviously, we've got one more game added to that in the Hemel Hempstead fixture brought forward where we're unfortunately not taking place in the trophy. But it seems as if half the league are in the same boat. I don't think many people would have earmarked sort of three points from the Dorking game, if we were being brutally honest. And, uh, you know, what a way to kick it off as the momentum builds heading into Oxford next week. Yeah, one thing I've learned playing in this league the last last few years is every game's different and you look we we've beat Haven't here and yet we've lost the bottom of the league twice. So you can't you can't go into any game expecting three points, expecting zero points. Three times as you're saying. So there we go. But um yeah, we go into Oxford City next week. I think they're on a good run, but we, we got a good point there last year when they were a good side as well again. So we go there for the confidence in the Hemel the week after two two three G 3G pitches, hopefully we can get the ball down down in play and we go there expecting to get to get as many points as we can. It's say here obviously it's just moving on from that as well. I mean if we're gonna sort of look at you know form and you know the teams that we've kind of got to know quite well in the league over the last few years, of all the teams we're playing in the December fixture, that's got to fill you with a massive amount of confidence now heading out to Oxford and Hemel. Yeah, definitely and away from home this season we've been very strong. Um, I know we lost in the Maidstone game but it's, it's like a sound like a broken record. We probably created the most chances, and they had a scrawny little penalty, which is probably a questionable decision. But that's in the past now. But we know when we go away from home that we can go and get something from anyone, anyone in this league. So it's nice to get the three points today. But obviously, we've got to think about the one next week now, and we're confident we can go there and get something. And of course, both of you, I think you've got to know your families quite well as we travel home and away. Both of your parents and grandparents ever present here. It must be nice to uh, go and catch up with them guys in the bar now and sort of, you know, deliver the three points in the great news. Yeah, well, we're both massive football fans and our family are massive football fans, so it's, it's, it's good to see them here. But we, we've been disappointing at home, to be honest. So for all, all the fans that make the cold journeys in December, we, we, we're glad to the last two games, 3 0, 4 1. All right, it's six points, but put on a bit of a good show and score seven goals as well. Absolutely. Well, I know you both got uh, plans, obviously, for your Christmas parties and whatnot. That you've got to shoot off to now. So, for he does, passes. Yeah, nice comfy night in with the slippers, is it, yeah, pass? Correct. Super. Well, uh, boys, four-one win at home to Dorking today. Both of you absolutely instrumental in that. Congratulations from all of us here, and uh, we move to Oxford next week. And all the very best for that, lads. Cheers, Take Thank care, you. boys. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Continuing coverage with Chippenham Town man of the match and hat trick hero today, Harry Parsons. Harry, 
Have you ever done that before? First half, eight minutes, blitz three in there. I mean, not so, not for surely not since the uh, the days of kiddies football have you gone and got an eight minute hat trick, but it's happened today. Yeah, it was good, good feeling. Uh, obviously, I've never done that before, and it's good to come here and played a few games, and it's good today to get actually get the hat trick and get a few goals under my belt. But yeah, it was good. Ola played really well, set me up for two of them. Ricky, little one two with him. So today the front three were very good probably could have stuck yourself on a four fifth as well I mean the chances were there today I mean for a side you know like Dorkin who we were expected to be quite compact and defensively defensively quite resolute we've you know just had a little bit of a chat there sort of pre, pre-interview and they sort of seem to open up and give you a little bit of space yeah it was very open to be fair in the defence today um, it was very good attacking but I didn't think defensively they were that good I mean had a few chances in the second half that we could have put away it could have been five six in the second half but that's the way it goes sometimes you know left foot maybe come off the bar but that's how it works isn't it it's a game sometimes but obviously uh, you've got yourself a your man of the match here and I'm sure you know, you're one for the stat you know it's uh top goal scorer now at the club joint top goal scorer in in one performance with the three goals obviously the goals have been quite sparingly going around the side this year but you know you've given yourself a real sort of you know a real chance to sort of, you know move on and kick on from here and you know put the ball in the onion bag a few more times yeah so this week training i've been scoring goals been getting them i think last week or the week before maybe weren't finishing in training and you know this week i have and the goals have went in maybe i should have had a few goals in the games before but that's the way it goes sometimes and I've got the goals from last week and the week before, all today. Exactly that, mate. And obviously, we wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be doing our job properly if we didn't talk about the slightly romantic element of a Swindon Town loney going uh, to Oxford next week and uh, hopefully doing a little bit of a job on their sister club. But it's uh, not a bad little one to go away to, is it, Oxford City for a Swindon player? Yeah, it's always a derby, isn't it, when you're from Swindon and anything Oxford. But yeah, it'll be a good challenge there. They're doing well, so we'll see what it brings super well Harry three goals a nice little bottle of wine for yourself to take home as well nice the right time for Christmas can't be too bad but what a performance today from you young man from all of us here at Blue Army TV well done mate thank you super well done